Hi guys, this presentation is about the machine learning model which is called word to vec The goal here is to find a vector representation of each word which captures a meaning, a sense of this word. These vectors are, are called word embeddings. This machine learning model word to vec is based on the distributional hypothesis in linguistics. The distributional hypothesis assumes that words which occur in the same context have similar meanings. And uh, informally speaking, the underlying idea is that a word is characterized by the company it keeps, like people. Here is a simple example. Consider three sentences, which you can easily find in a lot of documents. My name is John, my name is Mary, and uh, my name is Jack. It is very easy to infer from these sentences that John, Mary and Jack are given names. And uh, even if you find in the same context a new word, you may suppose with high probability that the new word is also a given name. The word to vec model was invented by a group of researchers from Google. The main inventor is Tomasz Mikolov, and uh, in this presentation I will use some results and pictures from their research papers. Consider the beginning of a sentence, the forest of oak trees on the mountain. The word to vec model analyzes text in a sliding window. Here is a sliding window of size 5. In this window there are always five consecutive words. And uh, what you are doing is called a word prediction by supervised machine learning. In more details, there are two statistical models inside the word to vec algorithm. The first model is called continuous back of words, SIBO. This model predicts a word which is in the center of the sliding window given all the surrounding words. The second statistical model is called a skipgram model. In opposite to the previous case, the model predicts surrounding words based on the word in the center. Here are some technical details of the word to vec model. The model assumes that each word is associated with two vectors. The first vector is called the input vector and the second is called the output vector. Word to vec fits these vectors by the principle of maximum likelihood. Here is the function you are maximizing and uh, I am skipping some uh, technical details. The main idea that you are fitting this two sets of vectors which are associated with words using the large text corpus. So you are going to find such vectors where the probability of absorbing given the text corpus is maximal. Okay, how to use the word to vec in practice? You should take a large corpus of documents, for example from Wikipedia or a large set of news articles. And the second step you fit the word to vec model. It is essential to take a really large sample of documents because in this case the quality of trained model will be significantly better. Sometimes training of the word to vec model may take 
a lot of time and uh, it may require using distributed systems like Spark ML. And what happens next if you have trained this model? You pick one of the vectors, input or output ones, and uh, this vector will capture the meaning of this word. These vectors are so good that then you even can make simple algebraic calculations using them. With the word to vec model you can do the question answering. If Paris is related to France, what word is related to Italy? Everyone can solve this simple quiz. The answer is Rome. It turns out that the word to vec model can solve it too. You can take the vector associated with the word Paris, subtract the vector associated with the word France and add the vector associated with the word Italy. Let us denote this obtained vector Vx. This vector is very similar to the vector which is associated with the word Rome. Of course Vx is not exactly Rome, but it is the closest vector among the others. And uh, here is a visualization of such idea. Some more examples of the word to vec model capabilities. What's going on here? You take two words from the column word pair and one word from the first column of the word pair group. And uh, in the last column the answer of the word to vec model is exactly as in example with Italy, France, Paris and Rome. The word to vec model can guess associations. If you ask the word to vec model Athens, Greece and Oslo, then the answer is correct. It is Norway, because Oslo is the capital of Norway. And it can capture even more complex associations rules like currency, city, state, man or woman, adjective to verb and so on. It means that vectors which are learned by the word to vec model are very accurate. Ok, one more example with relationships. For example, if you say to the word to vec model France, Paris and Italy, the answer is Rome. And if you ask it, what is the word associated with Japan? It is Tokyo. For Florida it is Tallahassee, you see it here in this slide. In the second line you can see how the word to vec model tries to guess the degrees of comparison. So input here is big, bigger, small, oops. In this case word to vec model has an incorrect answer, larger, should be smaller of course. But in the second line it is ok, cold, colder, quick, quicker. In the first line there are interesting relationships, it is profession. Einstein is a scientist, who is Messi? Messi is a midfielder, it's correct. Mozart is a violinist, which I think is close to the truth. And uh, Picasso is a painter. Ok, a very interesting line about chemistry is the shorthand for chemical elements. Cu stands for copper, Zn stands for zinc, Au stands for gold and in the case of uranium it is not the right answer. Here should be capital U but we see a word plutonium. And you can explore this table and find many interesting relationships. Ok, 
There are a lot of applications of the word to vec model. First of all, it can be used for doing text classification. And uh, instead of using a bag of words model and TF IDF representation, you can use vectors of words produced by word to vec. For example, vector of features of some document might be a sum of all the word vectors in the document. Word to vec is used a lot in machine translation and uh, even image captioning. Image captioning is an algorithm for producing text captions of an image. Okay, the summary of this lesson. You have learned the word to vec algorithm and uh, now you can identify the situations where it is useful. Word to vec algorithm learns vector representations of words which capture the meanings of words. Similar words have similar vectors. One can perform algebraic manipulations with these vectors.